Hey y'all and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Tonight we're making potatoes, onions, and peppers. A elegant, beautiful, and absolutely delicious side dish. Please hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Be sure to stay tuned after the recipe because we go to a friend's house and they fix us an authentic Mexican breakfast and I don't want you guys to miss that so stay tuned and don't leave after the end of the video I want you to check that part out so tonight we're making potatoes onions and peppers Hey guys and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Tonight I am doing a pork chop casserole. That's not what this video is, but that's what our entree is for supper. So I wanted to do a good side and I wanted to do it in a separate video. So you'll see this outfit in probably two more videos pretty soon. So <laughs> with that being said, our side that I'm going to make, I think I've already filmed it once before. Um, it is potatoes with peppers and onions, and it is so good. My sister used to make it, and oh, it was one of my favorite dishes she made. So, I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to peel up some potatoes. I always peel my potatoes before I wash them, and then I wash them afterwards, uh, because then I can still cut out any, any bad areas after I rinse them off. So, I'm going to cut some potatoes, and oh, and let me tell you, Bryant invited guest over for supper tonight which y'all know I love that except this pork chop dinner I'm making I've never made it before it could be a disaster y'all it could be a disaster so anyway but I know this side dish is going to turn out peppers potatoes with peppers and onions okay guys I have these potatoes washed peeled peeled and washed and I'm getting ready to slice them up and put them in this pot here now let me tell you this would be great with the skin on red potatoes the small ones wash them up scrub them up really good and maybe quarter them or half them those fancy little baby potatoes that you can find or fingerling potatoes if you just maybe sliced them in half this would be perfect for them I use what I have and I always have just yellow Yukon gold potatoes on hand so that's what we're using today so you don't want to cut these like slice them thin or in little bitty dices like you would for mashed potatoes you want them in fairly bigger chunks maybe even bigger than this like here's the palm of my hand there's that maybe a little bit bigger than that um, you want them to kind of hold their hold their own and you're not going to cook them quite as long as you would for mashed potatoes I think I'm going to try to boil these probably just um, 10 minutes. Um, you want it to be tender, you want them to be cooked, but you don't want them to be mush. Um, so maybe not quite as soft as you would get them for mashed potatoes. I'm getting a head start on everything. Uh, I'm not ready to turn these on quite yet. Um, we'll do that closer to time. i got to find out what time. Bryant told the fellas to come by. He uh, invited two fellas from our church whose wives are out of town. So um, they don't have any cook anybody cooking for them. So he invited them over. I have a feeling he may try to um, talk them into a game of Rook. Do any of you guys play Rook? <laughs> are we the only two old fogies that play Rook? <laughs> oh, goodness. But... His partner is going to be busy filming another video for you guys tonight. I'm going to film actually three tonight to have for this upcoming week for you guys. So, um, and there's actually a guest going to be, you see this person quite a bit, but they're going to have a little bit more of a upfront appearance than they normally do um, in one of those videos. So... Um, get ready for that. Um, I may have fixed a little bit too many potatoes, but that's okay. I'm just going to slice them up and I'm going to cover them with cold water 
and, and they'll just sit there, hang out, and wait until I'm ready to turn them on and cook them. And I'm going to prep the peppers and the onion and get those all ready. And I'm going to be ahead of the game. So in case the entree doesn't turn out since it's a new recipe, I'll be ahead of the game. So in case that it doesn't turn out, we can send out for pizza. But y'all, here is my pot of potatoes. I'm slicing up the last one, chunking it up in good sized pieces. I'm going to fill it up with water and just wait. I'll be right back as we prep the onions and the peppers. Okay guys, I'm going to use um, colored peppers. I would love to have a green one. I don't. But I need to use these up because they're getting a little wrinkly if you can see. So we're going to cut and be sure there's no bad parts, but they're, they're still fine. They're just starting to age a little bit and I want to use them up before they do go bad. So I wish I had a green one because the green just makes it beautiful along with these red and orange, but I don't have it. So it's okay. We will live without it. And I cut my peppers different than anybody and Bryant says I waste it and I probably do, but I'm usually in a hurry. Um, so I'll show you what I do. I just hold it upright and I cut down one of these segments and then I come back in and I clear off around the white and then I'll cut down the next segment. Yeah, I'm glad I'm using these up. These were on their last leg. No, I really didn't waste much, so maybe just that end part. That wasn't wasting much. All right, let's, then we'll slice them up. We're gonna keep them in pretty big slices. Pretty big slices. <clears throat> I'll show you. Whoops, that may be too big. Kind of like that. About the width of my finger and whatever length you have. So, um, we're just going to put them over here. Just slice them. Keep them long. You don't want to chop them. I guess you can cut them as thin as you want to. I love, I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow, and I love going through, this was unintentional, but I do love going through my refrigerator and using up what I can to make room for the new stuff I'm bringing in. That's actually, you'll hear that a little bit on the pork chop and um, the other video that's coming <laughs> that you're going to have a guest appear on. I'm going to cut that white off. I don't mind the white, but some people may not. But yeah, I really wish I had a green one. That would make this so pretty. But oh well. And you, if I had my better knife out, I, this would go much prettier and I would look more like I know what I'm doing. But um, I actually prefer to use my paring knife for just about everything. <laughs> I love my paring knife, even though it's probably not the most professional looking knife job I could do. <laughs> there we go. All right. We just got to finish slicing this up and I'm going to grab an onion. And once I grab an onion, um, we'll slice it up and then we're, we're just going to be prepped and ready to go. I'll show you what other ingredients you're going to need, which is not much. And, um, and then we'll just wait till it's closer to time to fix supper. Let me grab an onion. Okay, guys, I've just peeled my onion and I'm going to cut it from the root end to the stem end. Just going to cut it in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
and I'm going to cut the stem end off of both. And then I'm just going to slice and do little, little half circles. And then we'll come over here and separate them. Separate them best you can before you get them in the pot. Sometimes it's hard once you get them in the in the pan. And now this is going to be so good. So good. All right, let me just finish slicing this up, and then I'll show you the other ingredients you're going to need, and then we just wait till it's time to get set and go. Okay guys, so the other ingredients you're going to need are as simple as this. You're going to need a little bit of oil. You're going to need some butter for flavor. You're going to salt your water that you boil your potatoes in. So you're going to put a little bit of salt in that water. And then when we transfer it over, some seasoning salt optional on the garlic powder if you don't like garlic don't use it you don't need it this is so much flavor in this and some black pepper that's it and this is so good y'all so good so anyway i'm just in a holding pattern right now waiting for him to tell me what time the boys are coming so i know what time to get supper started okay guys let's get back to our potatoes um, I have just seared off some pork chops in the cast iron skillet, and so I'm leaving the little bits in there and the oil that's in there. And I'm going to go ahead and just put these onions and peppers in here. I had cut the heat off, so it's just barely warm. It sizzled a little bit. And I'm going to get some butter. We're going to add a little butter in here. Everything's better with butter. going to add a couple tablespoons to start with. I'll bring you guys over here so you can see. My potatoes are boiling. I'm going to let those boil about 10 minutes. I just want to get these nice and soft. Oh, helps if you turn the heat back on. <laughs> now this is not like a fried where it's like fried to its crisp. This is a very soft dish. Um, almost sauteed instead of fried. So, um, but this, the extra pork chop bits that I fried out in this cast iron skillet is just going to give extra flavor. And y'all, this side dish can go with just about any meal you can think of. I mean, it's just a versatile, versatile side dish. It's one I don't do often, just... I don't know why I don't do it often because it's not that hard. I think just because it's an extra step. Cooking the potatoes, um, it's just an extra step. And I think that's probably why I don't do it just because y'all seen my life. <laughs> you know how busy we are. So let me get these good and soft. If the potatoes keep cooking. I'll bring you back when we add everything together. Okay, guys, I got ahead of myself before I had the camera rolling. And I've just put those potatoes, I've drained them in a colander, and I've put them over here in my peppers and onions. Now they will mash up a little bit because I got them a little more done than I had hoped to, but that's okay. It makes them delicious. It's not going to hurt a thing. And I'm just stirring around, adding the peppers and onions in with it. All right, I'm going to give it a little salt, a little seasoning salt. A little garlic powder and some black pepper so here goes the seasoning salt and we may have to add some more butter in fact I'm going to add more butter so 
a little bit of garlic. Black pepper. And you can use olive oil if you want to. I may use olive oil. That is what I, well, I have both handy. Since I have both handy, we'll just use both. There goes a little bit of olive oil. And we'll do a little bit of butter here and there. How's that sound? There we go. All right. So I'm going to turn the burner up just a little bit. Not, not on high or anything. Medium. It's at a medium temperature. We're just going to mix those seasonings in. The black pepper, the salt, the garlic. And yes, it's breaking apart, but that's okay. That's okay. It's just going to make it good. Preferably, you wouldn't get your potatoes quite as soft as I got mine. But I'm just trying to time everything out. And I left them in just a little bit longer than I should have. All right, guys. It's just going to heat through and through, and then we'll be ready to eat. Or at least we'll be ready to eat the side dish. Okay, guys. Guess who's here? Hey, guys. Look. I want you to go back to this video and see how many times I say, okay, guys, just count it. I wonder, how 52. many times do I say, okay, guys? 53. <laughs> Here's our peppers and potatoes and onions, and he's going to give it a try for What's us. on the rest of the video? That's it. Okay. Well, and then our, we're going to have authentic Mexican breakfast. Okay. Sounds so good. stay tuned for that. I've been working, so I didn't know what she uh, had. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. Really good. Phenomenal. <laughs> That's his word, phenomenal. The peppers gives it good flavor. There's onions too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit of garlic. No. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You picked up on the garlic. Just a hint. Do you know why I picked up on the garlic? Oh, <laughs> I left it sitting it out. It was sitting out. <laughs> She's a slick one. <laughs> anyway, really good. The only thing I would add, ketchup. Oh. No, it's I too eat nice to I eat. eat ketchup on mine. No. But the different colored peppers mm -hmm. gives it good color. We're just missing green. Great flavor. Gotta try. What'd you call them? Potatoes, peppers, and onions? No. Oh, it, I mean, she's she's so creative. I'm real original. Yeah, so creative. Look, he's filling his plate up again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the um, Mexican breakfast. It's so good. Look. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell notification. We're not ending it. Oh, they're going not, to the breakfast. We're not but you can it. do that anyway. You guys going to the breakfast. Do it anyway. She needs more subscribers. Okay. We'll be back. Hey guys, we are here at a lady um in our church. Good it's morning. her house. And um she is fixing us an authentic Hispanic breakfast. We're excited. Never had one. Never had well. No, we haven't. We've never had no, one. No. We, she fixed. She us. fixed a supper one night, mm -hmm. an authentic months. Mexican supper, and so now we're going to do the breakfast. So we're excited. So we're going in, and I'll be filming just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I bet. So how do you like the mountains? I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, getting ready to make my little breakfast burrito here. This is refried beans that has been worked over in some uh, bacon grease. Miss Esther right there has worked hard for us this morning. This is eggs with chorizo. It's a, uh, it's a beef chorizo, I believe. And uh, work together. All right, and that is one of my mini breakfast dishes here this morning. You gonna taste it? Yes. <laughs> here we go, guys. I'm telling Brisa that you're. And an authentic homemade flour tortilla. Yeah. Um, I think that's still her. As my Latino friends would say, it's perfecto. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, Esther. Very quickly. Tell, tell the viewers what time you got started this morning. 6.30. 6.30. Tell, give them a quick rundown on what everything is real quick. Oh, um, tell them what you got. Chilaquiles. Hang on, tell, and tell them what that is. Chilaquiles is um, tortilla with um, red sauce and chipotle. Okay. And this is eggs with chorizo. Mm -hmm. That's um, refried beans, and I refried them with bacon fat. And that's um, pork rinds with mm -hmm. um, green sauce. Pork rinds with green sauce. And then corn like and flour chili? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and flour tortillas. Yum. Delicious. And corn. Thank you, Esther. This has been delicious. All right, guys. Hang tight. We'll be back in a second. Yeah. And y'all, right, let me tell you, this stuff was delicious. And what is that called, Esther? Uh, pan dulce. Yeah, what, what she said. What she said. <laughs> pan dulce. Pan, bread, dulce, sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. Very quickly, I want to introduce you to our host family this morning. Here is Miss Brisa. Okay. Beautiful young lady in our church. This is Josh, our host Wade. Also, uh, the uh, junior of the house, Carlos, over there manning the dishwater and cleaning up uh, uh, his wife's dishes. And there's Miss Esther. You've you've met Miss Esther already, and so that's our host family this morning. They attend church with us at Browers Wesleyan, and uh, you guys have seen Pastor Ben and Pastor Ben's wife, Miss Dana, and uh, his rowdy children, Garrett. <laughs> And of course, there's there's our family, and our Caroline, Jamie, and our rowdy children, grandchildren over here. Miss Kinsley, give a wave to the farm and pastor's wife audience this morning. Tell them hello. Deuces. All right. So, so anyway, and there is sweet little Levi right there. There's Levi. All right, guys. Stay tuned. More to come.